Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story covers the winners of the 8th annual SkyPixel Drone Photo and Video Contest. This year, the contest drew a staggering 65,000 submissions, which was a growth of over 120% from the number of submissions it received last year. SkyPixel is a community drone photo and video platform owned and run by DJI, which means that most of the winners took home lots of DJI drones and gear. But the first place winner of photography, who won for a beautiful aerial shot of two women picking water lilies in southern Vietnam, took home $15,000 in cash. The photo was captured on a DJI Mavic 3. And Farrar, one of the judges for the contest, said, This beautiful image is so well composed and balanced, it brings a sense of beauty and calmness. The highlights on the flowers helps the image feel like it's in motion. And I couldn't agree more. If you want to check out the other finalists, click the link down below. Our next story is talking about more DJI Inspire 3 leaks, making the April launch look very promising. The Inspire 3 is arguably the most anticipated DJI launch of this year. Although we've seen and covered some image leaks about the Inspire 3 before, nothing compares to what we've seen these last few weeks. Several Inspire 3 leaks have hit the internet, including a leak of design images from DJI's patent application to the China National Intellectual Property Administration, which is the country's national patent office. And all of this is still pointing to a possible release date as soon as next month. And finally, we're shifting gears to see how drone first responder programs are supporting work in law enforcement. Skyfire Consulting recently released this video explaining what drone first responder or DFR programs are and how they've helped law enforcement reduce 911 response times by 50%. In a DFR program, a drone is deployed immediately to the site of a 911 call, providing aerial intelligence that can inform how an officer arrives on the scene, helping them avoid ambushes, pursue fleeing suspects, and de-escalate more quickly by informing them about the situation in advance. Skyfire is one of the top consulting groups for public safety organizations in the U.S., and as of last July, of the 10 DFR programs in the U.S., Skyfire helped launch eight of them. The Chula Vista Police Department was the first in the country to pilot a DFR program, and it found that out of 4,000 911 calls, 1,000 of them didn't require an officer to be dispatched to the scene at all. This is also coming at a time where more and more drone companies are making drones specifically for law enforcement work, as we saw with Brink last week. You can watch the full video below to learn more about how DFR programs are supporting law enforcement. And before we wrap up, here are some of the week's photo and video submissions to share with you all. Remember to keep the submissions coming so we can continue to share your photos and videos on our channel. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. Are you excited for the DJI Inspire 3 to come out? And what do you think about drones getting more involved with law enforcement? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.